Another great day in the hood on this Sunday, June 21st, 2020. But today it's a day with the kid brother. We're now on our way to our first fun location with Brother Pete behind the wheel. Hey everybody! How are you doing? Join the Karras Brothers for That's a cool right. day out. Cool day out. All right. Long overdue. It's more like a warm day out, but we'll make use of it. And apparently, you still gotta keep social distance. Watch out. vehicle starts on shoulder ahead. Oh, Alexa, you run my narration, Alexa. Actually, that wasn't Alexa, that was the, uh, Ways up. <laughs> wow, Get pressed on the minor day national pike. There it look, is. Look where we're arriving. Look at that. How enchanting. <laughs> Actually, we're at the former site of the forest. Down there somewhere. And they plaque to commemorate the original. You up your bullfrog's hangout spot as a kid. Got two bloggers today. Pause it so you can read it. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Yeah, pause it for sure. <laughs> a lot of memories coming here. Yes. Now heading to the original site, which was right here, looking smaller than it did in the 60s. Looks like a future parking lot, but there's the forest. Yeah, there's the forest over there. How enchanting. But once upon a time, a great place for kids existed back there. And in my tadpole days, I was here. And so was bro. Yeah, the forest for sure. Mommy Nature reclaimed it. Yep, your frog's memories all gone. But we'll soon be visiting the relocated forest where they have it now. Part of a paved path there from the forest days. And part of the original frog ponds left. The path used to wind on around. Standing in front of it? 66, I believe. Okay, and we're gonna. When I was last here. Recreate that see, photo op. Two videos in one. So let's go check it out. All right. Now making our way to the relocated Enchanted Forest. Yep, it is possible to relocate a forest. Hmm. Now arriving. All right. This place. Clark's. And there's our modern day forest down there. Was that part of it too, over there? I think it was. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, let's get a shape. The modern day location of our forest. Apparently it's by appointment only. Our appointment's for 12 o'clock. Now it's around 11.30. Did you get your I got it. A sun-powered farm. As I assume most are. Over here. 
what I believe to be the original entrance when it was still on Route 40. We'll see how much of the original is left, how much stuff in the original park has been collected and brought here. And today, semi-busy. Yep. Don't let that COVID get you down. There's even rail service here. Wait a minute, I don't see any rails. Wait. A run by is a run by. We have to put our face mask on and keep one cow apart. Bullfrog says, get your purple films mask. Our 50th anniversary, we began in 1970. Get your purple films mask right here. Yep, can't beat the whole purple films mask. Yeah, but to proceed on then with our cyber tickets. Hi, how are you? If I sound different, it's because I'm narrating through a mask. Can we be paid for 12? 12 o'clock? Oh, okay. And, um... First I'm the bullfrog. I have clout. You guys have the... And again, the modern-day forest. I hope you can understand me through my mask. My purple film is mask. All right. So we're officially in. Our mask. Remember, they're a dinosaur, but it's not purple. Got a purple shoe house, though. And we will be getting on yeah, that. Don't want to get hit. Next one comes around. Yeah. And they were here. The guy who once had a great fall, Humpty himself. Not to this day, they still couldn't put him back together. And who recalls when I showed you the Haynes Shoe House in Pennsylvania? Well, got another one for you. Oh, can we go in? Yeah, a lady with all the kids. She had so many, she didn't know what to do. Oh, it's a sliding board. You walk in, you slide out. Just hanging around. Feels good in here. Yeah. Nice breeze. Oh yeah, nice breeze in here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Not to sit in my head, but whatever. Gus, you first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a slider. <laughs> yep, I'm a slider. That, that's a turtle species. Speaking of sliders, lunch is on me. <laughs> oh, we can't go upstairs. Oh well. Never there, a field full of Guernseys mooning us. Or so it appears. Wow, I think I'll make a wish. Alright, guys, get off the ground. Oh, Jack and Jill, alright. Still, they still have not succeeded to this day in getting that pail of water. Some things don't change. This is cool. Well, psychedelic mushrooms. They must have known I was coming. The cat and the fiddle. They used to say Ray Rice down the middle. So cows can jump over moons. I just learned something. Even the trees have faces. 
They aren't smiling though. Well, smiling faces tell lies sometimes. I don't remember that. Yep. Hooked man and hooked house. Not really. I don't recall that one. That is certain. But they were both. Little Red School House. They've never attended one. The Fairy Forest. Fairy Forest. No comment. Not a lot to see, but a shady spot. So where are all the fairies? Don't answer that. Now by the Mary Miller's house. Mary Miller's house. Complete with frog pond. Maybe I have a relative down there somewhere. Never heard a blue whale. Those of you who watched Dark Shadows in the 60s recall the blue whale is the name of the pub that they all met in. You have to get on the boat. That's actually afloat. Well, just check out all those wasps. Watch out for the wasps. I bet there's a nest there somewhere. I'm not a wasp man myself. I have a wasp phobia. But hey, get off that wall. You don't need another great fall. I told him not to fall. Gave advice. <laughs> I, I'm hoping that he takes my advice. <laughs> he, seems to be. he doesn't listen. He keeps getting back up on the wall. Didn't learn his lesson the first time. He's a broken person. <laughs> Egghead. Oh, there's a train about to depart. All aboard, says your bullfrog. Hmm. Engine, engine number one. We're going to have some fun. We have today, two videos in one. On the train, we're waiting for other people to board. We're going to go for a little ride. There's me on the screen. Check that sign out. 2.5 pegs apart. And we're off. And away we go. All right. This is our Acela. A steam powered Acela. Far out. Are my mushrooms again. How scenic. Up ahead, private right away. Move over. So we are going through a forest. Is this forest enchanted? Okay, we're out of the woods. We should soon be approaching Oz. Hairpin curve. Breeze feels good though. There's 
are a pumpkin. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the farm. About to pull into the station. survived. That's it. Hope you enjoyed your uh, cellar ride. Good job. Thank you. Better than your cellar. Yeah. <laughs> we love Elvis. Hey Dino, what's up? Where's Fred? Was that it? <laughs> It might have been. Might have been part of the original forest. You see the Rellis pumpkin there. We thought that was the pumpkin that we posed next to back in 1966 in a group photo. Yeah, that group photo. We're trying to find that pumpkin. That's got a door on it, but this pumpkin doesn't. And here's what it looks like now. Okay. It's the same pumpkin, so this right. is different. Oh, um, wanted to recreate our picture from when we were kids. That's what folks often do. And over here, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Back in the 70s, we were going to rewrite that play and call it Snow Dwarf and the Seven Whites. And for all you ladies, Sleeping Beauty. Which is what you all are. Assuming you're asleep. Hey, Farmer Nora had a farm. If you answer the riddle, what do you win? A farm. These guys really get my goat. You all button heads today? Hello. How you doing? I'm the bullfrog. What's your name? I'm the goat. Nice goatee. Watch him slide down. Another nice goatee over there. They do grow nice goatees though. Yep, it's a family outing today. Cool. Four children. <laughs> Check you out. Sticking your whole head through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they think we're going to feed them or something. They're expecting food. Don't they feed you guys? Well, going by that, it looks like they're getting a lot of food. Bag. And some goat facts, just for you. And on that farm, there were some goats. Obviously, I hope. Is that when they're pregnant or full? Another prego. You female with a goatee? All right. Over here, a big egg. Wonder what laid that? Yep, the goose that laid the chocolate egg. And over here, the rabbits. 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 Silly rabbit. Yeah, there we go. Hey, bunny. Hey, guy. Nice. Did you like it? 
Oh, I do. I do yeah. like it. Yeah. I just, I'm not How long have you been there? Twelve years. Let's check out those rabbit ears. Hope it's get good reception on TV. And a bunch of turkeys here. Oh, no turkeys allowed. Here you, stop horsing around. Over here, Bleemu Emu, like the TV commercial. Don't look too friendly though. I'm not sticking my hand in there. Try to oh, cut you. I wouldn't try that. No, no, no. Check out them claws. Hi. Hey there. Watch her bite your nose off through the mask. I wouldn't tempt fate. <laughs> uh oh, he's gonna attack me now. Yeah, walk on by. That's the song says. He's actually just showing off. Hmm. So you might as well get yeah, see you later. Yeah, nice behind. Bugs and worms. Wheat in the grass. Very nice farm though. As they say, Green Acres is the place to be. Hey buddy, what's up? We're inside the fence with him. We have company. He expects to get fed. You know what do I smell like? Yeah, they're better than dogs. They don't bark. I'll take one. Yeah, Ever heard probably, of a pit goat? Probably, uh, oh no, he's a pit goat. Look out. A lot more. <laughs> he's a pit goat. Look out. <laughs> Look at your little hairstyle. Where's the goatee? We have a little one down there. Okay. Yeah, you. Chew with your mouth closed. Oh, a couple of them. You guys just this is Goat out. City. He's a goat. He's like a pig. Over here, the big bed wolf. About to blow the little pig's house down. That's not very nice. But this is it. Our enchanted Sunday. Great being here and seeing all the uh, salvaged attractions from the enchanted forest. We we're like kids again. <laughs> You're like a kid again. What? I feel like a tadpole again. Like, yeah. So that's gonna do it for us. I hope you enjoyed yeah. this vlog. If you hope did, you enjoyed the enchanted forest. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'm gonna put a link huh. below yep. for my brother. Yeah, we'll put links to each other's videos. Thanks for the shout out. Check him out too while you're at it. Beetle Pete. As I said, this is their Enchanted Sunday. We're going to go into inquire about a pumpkin that was at the original site that we posed next to. Yep, the obligatory gift shop. Apple butter. My lady likes that stuff. We're inquiring about our pumpkin. You, you yeah. gonna do that. You're gonna take My brother, again, Peter, Peter Pumpkin Eater. He needs his pumpkin fix. Oh, no. yeah, it's supposed to be there somewhere. The one that we're looking for. Before departing, we'll check out the original entrance.
All right, your bullfrog is in. That uh, pretty the mouse is still running up the clock. That's the approximate time right now. We have to negotiate this maze. This is what I call a maze-ing. See what I did there? A maze-ing. Hmm. We'll get there. Little boy blue, where's your horn? I sleep on the job. And three days later, we're still stuck in this maze. A lot of these passages dead end. Yeah. Well, he's got his mask on, okay. Social distance, put a fence around you. Good old Mother Goose. And I guess I'm Father Gander. Nice eyelashes. Hey, shut your beak. Still making our way through here. Amazing. Okay, I'll stop saying that. Now for the tortoise and the hare. You sleep on the job, you, you lose. You snooze, you lose, you hare. You hare me? Uh, I give up. I have one of those at home. We follow these passages, then they dead end and we have to backtrack. Amazing. We're getting through this. Okay. A little too amazing for me. Yep. Over here, Indian TP. Up there is our pumpkin. Hey, Peach, you got to backtrack. Oh, you can go that way, too. Well, he made it through there. Huh, he fooled me. Little opening here I didn't see. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Is that it? The door looks small. When I was a kid, that looked a lot bigger. Well, it was like... Two and a half feet tall when we got hmm. the picture taken. Huh. Hey, Pete, that's got your name on it. It's got his name on it. Better recreate a picture from 50 years ago. I'm about to recreate a 55 year old photo. So here we are, we found the pumpkin, <laughs> an old picture of a bus standing in front of it, 1966, <laughs> memories coming back right now, I'm gonna tell you, almost 55 years ago, wow, this exact pumpkin right here, and it was so cool to find it again, we almost gave up, we didn't know if it was here, but thankfully it is here, and it's looking good. It looks a lot smaller from when, you know, I was, what, four years old, or five, 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 five in 1966, I mean, I was like, but you'll see in the picture, I'm going to put a picture of us from 1966, and here we are now, so, good to see you, Peter, Peter, talk to me, you're incredible, and there's someone in there, that's a girlfriend, that's, uh, that's, that's why you couldn't keep, oh, is that the one, yeah, yeah. and there's his wife, where he keeps her very well, in the pumpkin shell. And there he is with his pumpkin. <laughs> you feel at home, huh? Yeah, we got our money shot, all right. Gotta get back through this amazing thing. And again, wearing her mask. A maze within a maze. Big left turns only, like NASCAR. 
Yep, gotta be nibble and quick around here, or you'll get burned. Got a big sombrero there. And there's Pedro the mule, or donkey, whatever he is. <laughs> You're walking by a baby. The, when the wind blows, the cradle will rock. But no wind right now, so the baby's safe for a while. Hey, that baby rocks. Make sure the bow doesn't break. Mary Mary, quite contrary. Right. A band called Kicks did that song, right? Does her garden still grow? Well, apparently. But now it's fake stuff. And finally found the way out of this amazing thing. A couple of gnomes. Gnome. That's in Alaska, isn't it? About to depart this enchanted place on this enchanted Sunday. Thanks again. Really appreciate it. We saw the pumpkin. It's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you get your picture? Yeah. See, we, yeah, we got our shot. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was fun. I'm glad, we saw, I'm glad I asked you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have almost everything. Yeah. Like everything that was movable. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Your enchanted Sunday with Bullfrog and Brother. With the Karras brothers. <laughs> Did you guys have fun today? It's very important that you had fun. They better have we fun had today. Fun too, and I hope it, it showed through that we yeah. you know, you mm -hmm. had fun. Yeah, well, I did. I did. Brought some great memories again. back. I was fighting tears back at that pumpkin. Yeah. We're continuing our Enchanted Sunday. We're going to try to get to a spot on the CNO Canal. And today we're being guided by Alexa. Hey Alexa, how old are you? Something or other. I just got a text. Okay, ask Alexa something. Alexa. Where are we? You're in Olney, Maryland, headed southwest. I thought so. Alexa? Thank you. Of course. Alexa, you're so sweet. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Maryland 97 South, Georgia Avenue. Thank you, ma'am. Say hi to Gus. Hello. Hello, Alexa. I'm the bullfrog. Nice to meet you. You have to say Alexa first. Hey, Alexa. Hello, Alexa. She doesn't like me. You waited too long. <laughs> Just Like Me by A Boogie with the Hoodie, featuring Young Thug on Amazon Music. Sex me On a brand new Highway 200 here. Nice clouds. Yeah, social distance. Brangy road for me right here. Yeah, but it's a highway. Now on a part of Route 28, I've never seen before. Still a great Sunday so far. Great weather out there, temps in the 80s. A bit humid, but we're surviving. With the air conditioning. At least the AC works. We're climate controlled in here. <laughs> As most of you are, I'm sure. Lots of green, lots of blue, and yep. lots of white. Yep, more green acres, literally.
and now we're back I'm on the rolling countryside again literally rolling as we are nice blue sky with nice clouds beautiful day yes it is that's what it's all about Growing something over there. Some vegetables. Yeah, we could use those. No, fruits orchards. and vegetables. Yep. We need fruits and vegetables. I need something, right? <laughs> oh, what, do we have a detour here? We're taking yep. a detour right now. Detour of the countryside. You see what I did there? Oh, we're, we're in Bealsville. I know where we are. 109, that's our usual route to get here. That's we're making a left at the light. Exactly. That's correct, towards Barnesville. That's right. Left. Right is right. We're going left. Oops. She says. Not going that way now. We're passing that later on, though. On the way back to I 70, we're going that way. Now we're going this way, towards the ferry. And now we're on MD 109. For me, back in familiar territory. I brought you all this way before. They're arriving in Poolsville. Make a couple more turns to keep us on the route to the ferry. You've all seen this before. Not me. Not him. <laughs> Not him. Not me. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, though. Sure. Nice stuff right there. Yeah, right here. Hang right. a left. Hang a left? Hang, hang a left. Okay. Willard Road. Yeah. Hang in a left. Now we're finally on White's Ferry Road. The last leg of our journey to the ferry. Whoa, look at that. I hope. Just... Little line crosser there. <laughs> Looks like yep. a hawk or something. Mr. COVID breath back there almost hit us. Arriving at the ferry now. A bit of a backup to the people waiting to get on the boat. We're gonna park and walk around in a bit. After we cross over the Sea No Canal, we're just coming into view little by little there. Yeah, we're getting there. We're creeping, but we're getting there. At least it's moving. At least we're moving, right. They're better than just sitting still. I think the ferry holds about um 24 cars or something like that. The old ferry only held four cars. How many does this one hold? I think 24. Uh -huh. And over there, Trust Bridge was crossed by, by um, Robert E. Lee. Yep. Right. Yep, General Lee crossed that bridge. Back the I've never seen the ferry this busy. Well, I wish I was bike riding though. That's what I want to do. The cars are now unloading off the ferry. A good sign will be moving soon. Yep, slow boat to Virginia. A lot of people had the same idea yeah. as us coming out. I know, go figure. We're finally moving. But we're just going as far as this parking lot. <laughs> so, no big deal. And some empty spaces yeah, for real. We finally made it. And there she goes. Lots of folks enjoying the Potomac. In the Potomac. Complete with ferry boat. And there's where it lands, over there in Virginia. It's almost there. The boat right now is still in Maryland, technically. As I've said before, 
the shoreline is a state line across the river. We're still officially in Maryland. And a ferry is now arriving on the opposite shore. And now unloading on the far side. Or they were. Yeah, there we go. Loading up for the trip back. That becomes a slow boat back to Maryland. Once you drive onto the ferry, you're in Maryland technically. Okay, filled to capacity. Time to move. Back at the forest, we saw ferry land. Now we have a ferry boat. Yeah, that one didn't go over so well. Finally moving, but ever so slowly. When you're on it, you can't tell it's moving. Yep, here it comes. Still, that is one slow boat, I'm telling you. So it's a busy day here at the ferry. And all kinds of folks taking advantage of it. They have tables you can pay five bucks to rent. Almost back here and about to land. So it is about a half hour. There we go. The eagle has landed. I mean the ferry has landed. Okay folks, start your engines. Well, there you have it. More ferry action. But I've shown you before. And the original boat. We're nowhere near the capacity of the new one. Take forever to wait for that thing. And the Civil War era bridge. Once crossed by Robert E. Oh, Lee. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> of course, down by the Sea No Canal. I've had many a bike ride here. Georgetown to Cumberland. That's west towards Cumberland. And east towards Georgetown. Now we gotta go in there. I need a cold drink desperately. And back on the road, departing our ferry. It's great to see. Look at this, this is great. Arriving back in Poolsville, 
Want a trip back to the city? And there's the Poolsville Bank. Now, I believe up here you hang a left. That's our usual route there. Your Bullfrog's usual route. Historic Poolsville. But of course, now we're departing. All you need is. All you need is love. <laughs> the Beetle fans in Poolsville. Yes, indeed. We have a pit stop here at Barnesville Station before we photo up. Now we're inside Barnesville Station. Sounds like the name of an old rock band. It smells old. It smells old, right. It's got that old Love that old smell. old tiny smell to it. Of course, not the original station. This was a metering station at one time until the 50s or 60s. Oh, whoa, there's our Amtrak. Oh, I wish I was out there. Oh, well, you got a little bit of it. <laughs> well, better that than nothing. Pleasant surprise. Didn't stop here. <laughs> See, please ensure light is doors closed after last train and turn off the light. Or right, turn the light off. And out I go. Back into the world. At least I caught something. Better than nothing. And now arriving in Barnesville right proper. Barnesville Road. Then turn left onto Old Hundred Road. Thank you. I was trying to say now we're in Barnesville proper. Even improper. 1,000 feet. That was turn some enchanted Sunday. Road. She's still on the road. Got it. Your message to Gus Carras says, that was Sunday. Should I send it? Yes. We're arriving in Hyde Send me SMS from your mobile. So we turn left. Yeah, turn left and right. Yeah, please try to send me a message with Alexa's help. Alexa can't get my name right. Turn left onto Frederick Road. We are. This is Kate. British Kate. No, it's Kate doing the speaking. Right. Doing the guiding. There are a couple of different women here with us. <laughs> Alexa and Kate. In half a mile. Mm -hmm. Turn right onto Maryland Kate. 75. That's correct. 75. She's right. Yep, the bullfrog right. approves. Never argue with a woman. Never argue with a woman, right. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. At least this woman knows her roots. Yep, there's a return right. It's both Bullfrog approved and Turn Alexa right approved. Onto Maryland 75. We are. See? See? Just like my lady, she talks too much. <laughs> Go straight on for seven minutes to Finger Board Road. How about that? I know that road too. Alexa finally shut up. Still, it's a great route we're going over right now. Oh yeah. Very nice. Rolling. Now we're in Monrovia. Original B&O line ran right over there. The current line runs up here over a bridge. The old main line of the B&O, now CSX. I've ridden that way myself a couple of times. Pretty cool ride. Yep, I've ridden lots of trains in my time. Can we bear right up here? Tell us. Turn right onto Maryland 75. We intend to. Again, about to turn, so tell us. Turn left onto Maryland 75. Then it's exit to the right onto I 70, US 40 East Baltimore. You're giving me directions? I must be giving you directions. It's to me. But there we have it. Exit to the right onto I 70, US 40 East Baltimore. I right, for the original 40, but no big deal. 
is gone. A bit of a cloud shadow up there. Hard to get, though. And of course, to the right, the inspection station. Rarely used. They spend a lot of money to put it in, but they rarely use it. Was it worth it? Now, ascending Pars Ridge, the high point between Baltimore and Frederick. So, hope you're all enjoying this enchanted Sunday. Some enchanted Sunday. Some enchanted Sunday. And it certainly was. Sounds like a Bloister Called album. You think? There's a Some Enchanted Evening, but close enough. But anyway, I'm out back in suburbia. Sadly. And up here, back in Urbia. And again, as per usual, back in the hood, as residents call it. Boys in the hood. Yeah, frogs in the hood. Oh, there's my car. That's why I didn't drive it today. <laughs> I recognize it. Yep. One enchanted Sunday. Well, All right. The Karras brothers on another today en we had, enchanted oh Sunday. Goodness, we had so much fun, <laughs> and I hope that you enjoy all the footage that we shot. Yeah. So uh, far, yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna okay. do it again. Yeah. Good day with the Karras we'll brothers. We'll be back. <laughs> the the Karras brothers. We're not the Briscoe brothers, but still, <laughs> we don't yeah. wrestle. And please subscribe to my channel. Let's go to this guy's channel. Get him off my back. <laughs> <laughs> He's got 9,000. I got 18. Well, well, well you're another, just started. Yeah. Another 8,000, yeah. 800 of whatever, anyway. 20. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Peace. Love. See you. Peace and once again, thank you all for the privilege of your time. Peace and love. Like right. The last couple of Karras is left. See you, and I'll see the rest of you too.